Uh, Mr. Shelby, I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed your speech. You speak very eloquently. Thank you. My name's Mosley, by the way, Oswald Mosley. My constituency board is yours. And let me just say, you've come to my attention. Actually, I will come alone. In society, you are judged by your hospitality. I will expect adventure. Such rogues we are, aren't we? Sing like songbirds in the house. And then afterwards, relieve ourselves in the bodies of whomever we choose. Two men for whom forbidding is forbidden. Should be quite a party. Listen to the voices that you hear. Do what they tell you to do. You don't even have to rub the lamp anymore to summon the genie. It wasn't the blue stone, Tommy. It was you. It was you. Jimmy McCavan is asked for control of the race courses north of Wincanton. I decided it was a trifling thing considering our new enterprise, so I said yes. In return for what? No return. None. When our campaign begins, the country will be divided into distinct areas. McCavan and his men will be our soldiers in the north, controlling rallies and breaking up demonstrations. In the Midlands, it'll be you. The south, well, <clears throat> I've yet to decide. Please understand what I'm offering you as we go forward, Mr. Shelby. When we succeed, even the king will not be above us. into the mains, a lighthouse beam. Your millions of dollars safe in Switzerland and access to every dirty-minded swan in England. Oh, and also, Shelby, drink less.
stage, old man, until this thing is sorted. Think of what you're here, Arthur. I gotta get away from the body. Mr. Shelby, will belong to us. Did you bring that cigar? Before we smoke, I have some conditions. It really isn't going to be that kind of relationship. Just smoke like the fine man you will become. Business, I will be in Canada. Pity. Oh, and um, the other reason I wanted to bring this in person was to tell you that after our wedding, you must understand, Mr. Shelby, that if you so much as look in my wife's direction, I will have you killed. Come, Diana. Just think, very soon crumbling old institutions like this one will be swept away and become a thing of ancient memory. Try I save. Anthony, this um, early earlier today, um, day one, you know, my first sort of spoken word and spoken scene, uh, I definitely had analysed every movement of Oswald Mosley, as much footage I could get my hands on. I was like, I'm going to nail this impersonation, I'm going to be Oswald Mosley. And I remember one of the first things Anthony went, what, what's going on with the accent? Man? Like, <laughs> you know, great, it's great work, but like, just, you know, keep, keep it, just be yourself, like, I'm a really bad Irish accent. <laughs> 